Hi there, Luke Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And I just want to cover how to create this Toon Alien plant scene using Arnold for Cinema 4D. And we'll cover how to shade the plants and use different texture maps to drive the color of the plants and also the position, scale, and rotation of the plants. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to start off by shading one of the plant models here. Uh, before we start, just make sure under render, no space is you know, space is set to Arnold. After you've done that, create the uh, Arnold Toon shader here. And double click on that, and I've got the shader here. Brings up the node editor. So starting from the top, we've got the uh, default edge setting, and under edge detection, reduce the angle threshold to 50. And collect, connecting the plant texture up to the mask color. So first to disconnect the plant texture, we wouldn't get any edge lines around the color texture map, the base color texture map here. Okay, and then I've also enabled the silhouette. So if I disable that, we'd get perfectly crisp, clear edge. Uh, but because I've connected a cell noise to the width scale, it's helping to break those edges up and set the pattern to whirly one additive with eight octaves and scale the cell noise to match the scene. Then connected to the base color, we've got this layer RGB shader, which is layering the, the plant texture map. With a user data RGB shader, which we'll cover later, basically helps us colorize the instanced plant models. To make sure the attribute is set to display underscore color. And we'll use a shader effector to uh, affect the color of the plant models using the Arnold scatter. So if I was to disable layer to the plant texture, we would just get the plant texture going into the mask color. So this is just the mask color on its own. That's with the plant texture color map coming into the base color. We've also got a toe map hue saturation map here. So if I was to delete that, you can see the effect that I was having. So a little bit about tone map hue saturation map. So the shader's U coordinate drives the direct light hue and the V coordinate drives the saturation. Which enables textures to, to map the two shader's response to colored lighting. So in this case, I've used the map from the documentation, which you can download here. You can try these other maps or try your own map. Uh, just experiment with different uh, colors. You can change the UV coordinates of the map as well to, to get different results or offset the UV values to get different color responses. Okay, moving on. Got a small amount of specular with a high amount of specular roughness. Again, the same hue saturation tone maps go into the specular. So if I was to do that, you can see it makes a big difference. And then just add a little bit of a sheen, so 0.3, so that's with it, that's without it. Just get some lightness around the edge of the model. And then I've just added a little bit of emission, so that's without it. That's a bit with, just to make it a bit more vibrant, a bit more illustrative. And that same layer RGB that's going into the base color is also going to the emission color as well. Okay, so that's covering how to tune shade the plant. Let's look at how we can populate the scene. How we can adjust the shading using the user data RGB shader to control the shading position, scaling, rotation models as well. So we've got the rest of the alien plant models here with their two shaders assigned to them. So they're all the same as the shader that I showed earlier, but with different texture maps for each plant model. And I've renamed them according to the bitmap name so they don't uh, get confused which one's which. Okay, so we want to scatter the models across the planes. Let's start off by creating an Arnold scatter and select all of the plant models and just drag those onto the Arnold scatter. And then we want to distribute them across the plane. Let's just drag the plane onto the surface. Okay, so let's start off an Arnold IPR render. So what we get with the default settings. We can use a MoGraph shader effector to control the distribution and color of the models. So for the Arnold scatter selected, go to MoGraph effector shader. Okay, so we want to remap the transformation using a shader. We're scaling them, we can also rotate them uh, based off the shader that we're going to use. 
Just make sure that the modified clone is set to 100% and that under Arnold instances, the shape order is set to effectors. We want to use the shader effector to affect the distribution of the plants. So we go to the shading of the shader. We could use a gradient or another shader, a noise shader to control the distribution. And I'm going to use an image. For example, if I use a basic image like we had before, you can see if I increase the number of scatter points, we get something that approximates that texture map. Where pure color, we're getting one particular model. We want it more organic, so we're going to use a different texture for the shading and with a lot of uh, variety in color. Okay, so we're getting some gaps here. We could increase the point count or we could use the shader effect to change the scaling. So maybe just increase the minimum slightly. We'll rate, increase the scale of those plant models. We can even go above 100%, so if we go increase that further. Can even go above 100%, so I could increase, increase the maximum. That will give us uh, larger models and also increase the, the colors. You can see the colors are more pronounced. So we look at the texture model, the texture kind of make out where the bright areas are getting different plant models compared to the other colors. And it's just a matter of experimenting. You might want to try different um, shape orders. So we've got sequential, so we're going through sequentially through the models here. Uh, or just random blend between them or just use the first model in the list here so this is this model here or use the effector so you just have a have a play have an experiment try different settings it's quite fun to just play around with these settings see how the uh, strength is Increasing the different number of different uh, plants in the scene. Also, experiment if there's some different settings uh, in the yarn scatter, maybe you want less points. You could uh, enable push apart if you're getting any intersections or change the seed value as well. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye for now.